science made fun for the smallest child or the most established scientist. Here to talk about San Diego's very first science festival, Larry Bach. So, this, Larry, you're the co-founder of this festival. Hi, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Very nice to have you. It's really interesting what you're doing. It's being called as uh, one of the largest multicultural, multi-generational, multidisciplinary celebrations of science ever seen on the West Coast. Really? And why? Well, because we have about 500 events going on throughout the month of March uh, all over greater San Diego County, culminating in a giant expo in Balboa Park on Saturday, April 4th. And we have events for young young children all the way to adults. So we have things like Science of Wine for Adults, and we have the, the Science of the Magic of Harry Potter for young kids. Oh, really? So. How, why did you dream this up? Where, where did this come from? Uh, well, uh, I've spent most of my career as an entrepreneur, and it's been becoming increasingly impossible to hire Americans to these advanced science positions. So we have to reinvigorate the interest of our young people in the sciences. Well, good on you, Larry. This is going to be fun. I'm going to have to come down for this one. So I want to come say hi to Rick Lee, who is a scientist. Thank you, Rick, at General Atomics, which is, uh, you know, the big technology company based here in San Diego. So hi, Rick. Hi, good morning. How are you? Uh, what's the latest and greatest at General Atomics? Are you guys saving the world yet? Well, yes, we're on the way. <laughs> we are doing nuclear fusion research for electricity production in the future. How close and are we so, to that? Uh, well, as that's a big deal. We know that's a big one. <laughs> that's right. It can be as little as uh, 20 years away, 30 years away, something like that. But we're working very hard getting a lot of good scientific research done with that. Okay. How are you involved with this whole festival? Well, as part of our scientific research, we have an educational outreach program that uses a lot of the science that we work with in, uh, in our fusion research. And we're very pleased to be with the science festival here. And so today we have a couple demonstrations to show okay. what the kids and what the public will be able to interact with on April 4th, uh, as Larry had mentioned. Okay, let's just say, say hi to mom. Hi. Oh, what's your name? My name is Tasha Bach. Thank you for being here. And what's your name? Joy Herman. I'm sorry, well, hold on. Uh, underneath <laughs> the mask, go ahead. Joy Herman. Okay. <laughs> and what's your name? Drew Spiller. Okay, guys, thank you for being here. So, Very Rick, good. Yeah, we're we... pleased that they're here. Uh, at General Atomics, where we do our nuclear fusion <laughs> research, we work with plasmas. Uh, the plasmas are ionized gas, and we can manipulate them with magnets. And so we have examples here and interactives that we can work with the students and with the public uh, with, uh, as a fourth state of matter working with uh, magnets and a plasma. Okay, so, so at the expo, you can kind of get involved oh, with Oh, yeah, that absolutely. We can get involved with that. They can see how that works. They can see how plasmas affect their everyday lives and Got fluorescent it. lights and arc arc uh, welding cool. and different things like that. Let's check out the next one. Yeah, and then as far as states of matter, we also think of going from liquid to gas. So we right. have a, uh, a nice little, our buddy Oscar here, where we're going to pour in some liquid nitrogen. Should I back away? Yes, just okay. a little bit. We're going to go ahead and pour in some liquid nitrogen here and let it warm up to turn to gas. Oh, cool. And we'll capture that gas in a glove that's up here. Oh, sorry. There we go. That should do it. Is and this what happens when Raul eats too many bean burritos? Well, it could be. I'm not sure. This is our buddy Oscar. <laughs> He comes with us wherever we go. And, uh, <laughs> is that going to pop? Well, we'll see, won't we? That's, that's a good deal about an experiment. We don't know how the outcome is going to be. I love science. All right. got to watch my eyes. I don't want to hurt my eyes. So while okay. Oscar is uh, expanding there, we're going to go ahead and show you the coldest volcano in San Diego. The coldest volcano the in coldest San Diego? The coldest volcano. Port. Ooh, wow. There we go. Uh, oh. That's just some more liquid nitrogen. We put in some soapy water. It's not real... Uh, high tech, but it works out very well. And indeed, we have uh, liquid gas, and we have even solid little uh, frozen ice here. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. What? That's ice? Uh, frozen. Frozen bubbles. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So it's cool. These are good okay. interactives. They're safe. They're fun, and uh, we cool. enjoy having them. What about the last one, right? Okay, we have another one here. We use magnets at, uh, in our work, and so here's another idea of uh, mag magnetism, uh -huh. and we can go ahead and levitate uh, this magnet on top of these aluminum plates here. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of interest. The kids love it. And this is actually a, a, teacher, uh, a, a teacher demonstration that we've uh, done before, a workshop. And so what it's about, very cool. what about the very last one? Okay, the very last one works in a similar manner. We use magnets in there, but we charge them up and dissipate them very quickly. And so we're going to go ahead and have a countdown here. We're going to launch that can, aluminum oh can. Oh, my gosh. Three, oh, my God. Two. This reminds me of college. One. There it goes. <laughs> All right. Out, that went up about <laughs> okay. About oh 20 feet in the air. And okay. Oscar. Oh my God. So we're going to okay. have a fun time. We're, gonna, we're looking forward to the science festival. Full contact science. Yes. All right. So go to our website. Go to fox5sandiego.com. Foxnumerical5sandiego.com. The festival is it, itself is April 4th, but Larry, like you were saying, there's all kinds of activities in March before it. That's right. It le it's a whole month of activities leading up to a giant expo in Balboa Park. Well, thank you guys for what you're doing, because this is a free expo. 
This is a free thing. For and all 500 events are free, so okay. there's no excuse for not going. What a contribution to the community, guys. No, it'll be thank, fun. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, so it'll the expo itself, April 4th. For more information, go to um, fox5sandiego.com.